I skydive into every single one of the Denver Broncos home games and I land on the field. Before the kickoff of the game, it's usually 15 minutes prior, we land on the field, 70,000 people. It's truly amazing. It's something I love to do. Now, when we jump out at 5,000 feet, we have to make sure that that timing is exactly correct. If we were to exit too early, if we were to jump out too early, at that point, we would not make it to the stadium to be able to land in the field and on the field for the people. If we were to jump out too late, we would not make it and we would be landing in a parking lot. We have to do it just right. How does skydiving into a football game have anything to do with trading? Glad you asked. The thing is, is that what happens is too many people anticipate the trade, the pivot, and they get in early. They're like, okay, well, it's probably going to go anyways. So I'm going to get in early and they just jump in early. Now think about it. If I anticipate, well, you know, hey, I'm on an airplane. I know at some point I'm going to be over the stadium and it's going to be the correct time. Why don't I just jump out right now? Well, the thing is, is I'm going to land in downtown Denver. I'm going to land maybe north of the city. I'm not going to be anywhere near the stadium. And what that means is that I don't get the outcome I desired. The outcome is for me to land on the field. So I can't anticipate the absolute pivot or the jumping into the stadium, I can't go early. I have to go within that window, which is about six seconds. Very similar to trading.